In today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create freeze frame cutout intro or outro within DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. Let's dive into edit page. Oh, almost forgot. Let's see today's intro first. Welcome to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you how to do freeze frame cutout in DaVinci Resolve 17 in a free version, of course. So, as you can see, we are in edit page and I have already imported uh, my video clip. So now we're going to search for this point that we would like to cut our video clips. So I'm going to cut it somewhere approximately here. So I will just use Ctrl B. I will go one frame ahead and press again Ctrl B. So I'm going to move this video clip away. So I'm going to zoom in, highlight this frame, right click and I go to change speed, freeze frame and change it. Now I can extend this freeze frame as much as I need. So I will probably go with something like a couple of seconds. Let's zoom out a bit. So we can go like something like three seconds or a little bit less. So now when we have this freeze frame, just right click, change it to new fusion clip, put your playhead in the middle, highlight it and let's jump into the fusion page. In our fusion page we're gonna just move this to this side. So let's check the option we have directional pipes arrange here to grid. Yes that's everything okay. So let's hide media in and let's copy this one. So Ctrl C and move your cursor away. Ctrl V and we have this copy here. So now we're gonna change the name. So just press F2 and change this to cutout. And we're gonna need it on the end of this tutorial. We're gonna basically do the mask around this lady. So next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our background node and connect it to media in. Now we have our first merge. So let's see in the first screen what we have and the, the other screen is background. So let's change the, the color here. We're gonna change it or take it somewhere here. And next thing is let's lower the alpha to be able to see what is happening behind. So let's bring another background node connected to merge one. And now we have another one, so we can change color as well. We can go with something like blue. And we're gonna grab this rectangle here. So we're gonna change the height, we're gonna change the width. And we also gonna change the so we're gonna put it somewhere here and now we're gonna copy these two nodes so ctrl C put your cursor away ctrl V just drag this line to merge two and you have two rectangles now so let's highlight this one and we're gonna just change the position of second one and of course we're gonna change the color as well so let's go a bit towards the yellow color something like that doesn't look so bad so it looks nice so one thing is now we have to keyframe these rectangles let's 
put the playhead to frame 5 and let's keyframe the center on rectangle 1.1 and also on the first one. So next thing is let's jump to, to frame 10 and keyframe it again with both of them. So now we're gonna drag out of the visible field or let's say out of the screen. We're gonna just drag it out like this let's check if I have yeah that's it and now we can see what we have done here so they are disappearing out of of the screen so that looks nice and let's grab now the text plus connected to merge tree you can move this one you can go with lady's name Judy Garland and let's drag another text plus in just connect it to merge and we can go with photograph and we can change the color as well go with this we can change the position we can change the size. We can go to text number one. We can also change the color here. We can change the fonts as well. We can move this one can change the size as well here so let's zoom a bit in we're gonna be able to see and this one as well and let's keyframe this one so let's go to frame 12 and we're gonna keyframe size tracking and of course center so let's go to text note number one keyframe size and tracking so let's go to keyframe seven and now what we're gonna do we're gonna zoom out a bit not too much and we're gonna use the tracking and we're gonna stack all the letters on one file I'll leave it here so just put the size to zero as well so let's go to text 2 we're gonna use the size so we're gonna do it like that and also we're gonna use the tracking don't, don't go too far so and you can just pull the text out of the side from the screen and now we can see what we have done a little bit bigger looks nice so this is basically most of the work done so let's grab this one as well so cut out connected to merge so let's go and grab polygon and let's invert this that we're gonna be able to see this lady here so just Put it like this and just go to inner side more and that's it so let's untake this and we can go back to edit page and we can play it through so the letters or let's say the text is a bit too big let's go back so let's change the size and 
let's check what is going on. Yeah, better. Much better. But still we have to, we can do some other things. Let's go back to text. Let's go to settings. Let's go to motion blur. And let's also do a small motion blur. So we can go to text one as well. Go to settings, go to motion blur. And we're gonna put it to five. And let's check now what's what kind of results we have yeah much better much better so let's go to edit page let's wait that computer check check the video clip yeah now we can basically see the full screen and you will see the result quite nice quite nice so one thing more that we can do, let's go to effect library, goes to effects, grab adjustment clip, put it on the top, just press Ctrl D, just put it five seconds, change it. If you need to extend it, extend it. Let's go to inspector and let's go to cropping and you can crop for 130. Uh, I'll put it here as well. So we're gonna check this out. Yep. So let's go full screen and play it through. Yeah, looks nice. I like it. So you can see it again. If you have any questions regarding this effect, let me know down in comments. And that's it for today. See you next time. Hope you were able to follow me and that you have get all information needed. Should you need assistance with this effect, let me know in the comments below. So if you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave your feedback, suggestion or comments below. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And do not forget to watch my other tutorials as well. See you all next time. Have a good one.